So, so, hello. Yo. <laughs> what's, your, what's your name? Um, my name is Flowey. Um, yeah, man. Is it not Flows Up? <laughs> yeah, Flows Up, uh, yeah. Um, I do go by Flows Up for like production and stuff, but I like to separate the two because I've done stuff that has like, like it's just beats and it's just there. Yeah, it's gone other places. I didn't want to confuse the two things because I'm going to do more production stuff, but yeah, for my artist stuff, Flowey, for the production stuff, Flows Up. Okay, okay. And what do you do? Is it full time artist, producer? Yeah, man. Artist, producer, like creative, like, like videography, like trying to make shit, man. Make shit that touches people, you know, in some way or another. Whether it be making them laugh, making them like, dance, making them like be in their feelings, anything, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's good to like inspire people and, and be creative. Yeah, man, I'll just tell your story, you know, because like a lot of the time, like we're living it in it. Like I feel like music is just recording what you've seen in it, mm. like what you've seen, the vibes that you felt and just communicate it. Like some people are just so good at just communicating what they've seen, do you know what I mean, through music. You, like, People can say a lyric and you literally see it. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what I love. That's what I love the most. Okay. Because I know you're, a, you're an artist, yeah? And a producer. Would you call yourself a creative too? Or? Yeah, man. Uh, like, <laughs> like, if you write books, you're creative. Yeah. If you, like, if you make stick figures, you're creative. If you draw, well, anything you draw, you're creative. If you create something, like... Everything we create is basically pointless. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, if you wanted to create that thing, do you know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah. Yeah. What age did you start then? Um, I think, I think I kind of knew from, do you know like in school where you have to like, um, like pick what you're going to do? Like you pick your, like your, your subjects and stuff. I just, I just ended up picking all creative stuff because I was just like, all the other stuff, it does it just, like, it's all trivial to be like, history is all trivial, like, do you know what I mean? I just wanted to make stuff, always. Um, but, yeah, other stuff interests me, do you know what I mean? But only in context to creation, do you know what I mean? It's weird, so, yeah, my mum was pissed about that. What about being, like, a creative? <laughs> what? Yeah, that she was just like, why do you want to choose all these, like, 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 like art, like, music, tech, um... I even chose dance because I wanted to, like, all my friends were doing dance. Yeah. So I was just like, yeah, I want to do that too. Even though I wasn't, I wasn't the best dancer or anything. But I just, I literally was just following the, like, my boys. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, just so, enjoying it. Yeah. But, yeah, I thought it was all cool. Them lot was sick. Do you know what I mean? Them, them lot, like, really, yeah. What did you want to be when you were younger then? When I was younger... I think, you know, when you're talking to your parents and all that, they're, they're just like, yeah. She's like, oh, you're good at maths. Like, my mom always was like, yeah, you're good at maths. And I was like, pretty okay at maths. Um, so she's like, oh, if you're good at maths, you could be an architect. So, so I was like, oh, architect, that means like making, build like making buildings and stuff. So I was like, yeah, I could do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But <laughs> when it came to just like creating, like, like, it was music really that really got me the first mm -hmm. time, like, especially, um, like, in school, because that was when, the, like, the grime thing was happening, and it was just, yeah. like, bro, like, it, it just consumes you, do you know what I'm saying? It just consumes you, like, just wanted to, like, like, make the best bars and just be, the like, the person who had the bars that made everyone go, yeah, that was hard, do you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. then, and then, like, like, even, like, getting onto FL in school, that That's Fruity Loops, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Our studio, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fruity Loops. But to be honest, shout out to EJ because, yeah, <laughs> like people were doing, that was like loops though. You didn't yeah. have much control of like, like everything, but. but you normally make the beats. That was the first, yeah, 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 yeah. But you were just putting stuff together and it was like, okay, cool. This, this works together and all that kind of stuff. So that kind of gave a little foundation and then, um, yeah, man, just... So you normally take the beats from the loop from Fruity Loops and do you, like, put it into something else? 
Or do you do you make, do you kind of how do you kind of make the beat the rest of the beat? Like the first beat I ever made, I think, because I think like Soldier Boy Crank that came out, oh, right. and I kind of know like like we all noticed that like all the sounds from that beat were just stock sounds on like um, FLs and just yeah. the stuff that come with it. So like I was like, okay, I can recreate this beat. Do you know what I mean? And I didn't really know like much of the like how everything works. So I, I literally put it together and I was like, oh, okay. Do you know what I mean? So I was never really that good in school. Like I didn't have to like pass the course. But yeah, after like that, I went to co like college. I went Orpington. <laughs> but yeah, I was meant to, I was doing like a business business and finance and all that and I was just that I was I did not feel it I was just literally stopped going halfway through yeah. and then my mum was just like you got you got to go to uni you got to, you got to, you got to do something and so <clears throat> I decided I'd do I'd do music in college because I was like you know what if you're gonna make me like get educated at anything let it be something that I want to do on and I like fuck with so is that when you started taking it seriously and? Um, I was always like, bro, like during like school times, I was like always trying to do some like some music. Not well, not school times, but like after school, I would say maybe, maybe like sixteen onwards. Like when I left school, like I dropped my first like project. All right, what age yeah. was that? Uh, sixteen. It's called it's called Float Tree in Motion. <laughs> 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 bro, it's so cringe, bro. It's jokes, but um, yeah, man. Like with my cousins, like um, Bart, um, Bart, um, that Bartoven. Yeah, Bartoven. Yeah. Um, and then yeah, Emanike as well, who's doing amazing things in the industry. He's got like, another name, isn't it? What? He's got another name. Yeah, Emanike. Has he got a different name? Well, or is that is that his name? That yeah, that's for? his name on the, uh, oh, on right, the right. like his stage name. It's funny because it's our last name as well. Okay, but, cool. Yeah, that's nice. Representing yeah, the family. Yeah, but yeah. he just abbreviated it in it there, so yeah, it's pretty, yeah, it's cool. But yeah, like literally, they had like a studio in their like garage, like literally in the garage, and like we didn't even have a pop shield. We literally had like tights and a hanger, but we used to like record. Like people used to like Bart used to do like bare stuff. We we did so much stuff when it came to like. Like trying to hone our craft, we had like this radio thing. We used to do, they used to do, and like I can't even remember what it was called, but yeah. And then um, <laughs> I started a label. <laughs> we started a label when we were like, yeah, like sixteen. What kind of label? Music label. Like music label. We had bare yeah. artists on it. Like it's just it's just like like putting things together. Like do you know what I mean? Like do you know what I'm saying? It was just yeah. I even wanted to like, like, like put a little girl, like a girl group together and see if oh, I could right. like, yeah, they're just little things like that. Like trying, obviously it's just like, like doing stuff as kids. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. 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 And then, yeah, bought cameras, trying to like shoot our own videos and stuff. Like was learning how to produce at the time. Like, but I would say I'd only got like good at producing around like maybe like, like 22. Yeah. Like when I got like, like like later down the line. Yeah. And how old are you now? I'm 30, yeah. Okay, right, right. Yes. Yeah, so. Yeah. But yeah, like ever since then, just been, like just created so much that it's just like, like, just like yeah, yeah, it's just a part, like literally, like any situation you put me in, like I can make something, I can read the room, like understand what everyone in the room likes and like, like try and make something for that moment, you know? Like, yeah, but yeah, it's just like years of just being in those environments and just like, like, yeah, music, music to me is all about like, like who, like the room, do you know what I mean? It's about the room and that, that, that fellowship in the room and like, like the energy is what should make the song, do you know what I mean? And I think that's where the best music comes from, even if you're just by yourself, if you're in that moment and you're just, yeah. Yeah. Where did where did the names Floza and and Beethoven come from? <laughs> like what inspired it? Yeah, no, nah, do you know what? Yeah. Um I think Bart was like um like because like, we had loads of different names. You know like when you're like in school you're just like 
you'll make something like younger terror man or something <laughs> <don't> like that <laughs> yeah like you would have some like wild name like and, and I wanted it to, like my name to be a bit more musical because I think before it was like something like menacer or something like that and I'm not men I'm not menacing no one do you know what I'm saying I'm, I'm, I'm a cool guy like do you know what I mean I just want to make some beats and and like do a little flow and that so yeah so like it was like he called himself like Beethoven mm. and I was like well is that after I'm Beethoven with, like, yeah after Be like Beethoven with bars yeah yeah and yeah I was like <laughs> yeah, Mozart with flow, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. But, um, yeah, it's kind of corny, but it just... No, like, it works, everyone though, calls, yeah. Everyone, call, yeah, everyone, like, call me flowy, flows, like, you know what I'm saying? So it just stuck in it. It's just like, it's just, yeah, I'm flowy, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I like your music, though. I've been, yeah. I've been listening to it love, today. Bro, love, bro. I've been yeah, listening on, on Spotify. You've got, yeah. you got quite a lot of monthly um, li listeners as well. Yeah, 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 bro. Got uh, a good, good yeah, fan base. Like, yeah, I did a project with um, Finn Fox on Lord Apex. Okay. But yeah, um, I was living in West London when I was living in West London. Mm. So yeah, like used to come to my crib. Just used to like, like we we knew from the beginning we were gonna make a project. So literally, like we just had like they'll come out, like come around like once a week like just drop whatever like whatever beat I had they'll just jump on it yeah. and you know what I mean like just made that that eight track and then one of the tunes bounce yeah. and I didn't even I didn't even think that like I didn't think much of the song I really like it's like it was a cool because I think my boy Rashid he plays guitar in it because yeah I like just bringing like people who can play stuff sometimes he recorded that um the guitar Ooh. And I and I basically found a loop of like I made a little loop of it and then I just I could just put a beat to it yeah That's great. played it to them they they fucked with it they did what they did on it but I think what made the song pop off <laughs> like Apex did like some rant about like the type of people you don't like <laughs> at the end of the tune in it yeah. <laughs> and for some reason people loved that like they. they I think that's probably why it got so many plays as well. But like, yeah, so it's a vibe, it's a vibe, bounce. Yeah, check out that project, that project's, that project's really pretty cool. Good. But like, shout out Finn and Apex, they're doing, they're doing really big things, do you know what I'm nice, saying? Nice, nice. Yeah, we're talking really 5.9 million views. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 5.9 million listens on, on Spotify. Yeah, man, grateful, man. It's good numbers, grateful. man. Yeah, yeah. Man. But, um... Yeah, more to come, like, yeah, I make my own music, but, yeah, I'm always, like, my music's a bit more experimental, so I always know that I've always had to like, package it a certain way for it to be received, especially, like, the way, like, music is now. Like, when it's, like, more about the things around the music than the actual music. What do you mean, like, uh, like advertising and, and what? Yeah, just the way you market yourself and things like that. Like, I focus so much on, like, the actual learn how to create, because I'm mix master produce everything myself. So all your songs? The most of my songs are I source people like I like like I have so many like people that like are so sick around me, do you know what I mean? Like like one person might have one idea and then he's just like, oh do you have anything for this? Like I'll just it might just be even like humming of a melody and then my boy's like, oh this sounds like this and this needs to do you know what I'm saying? There's people like like literally just coming together like I don't think um, being a producer is about making beats. It's, it's, it's nothing to do with that. It's, it's about like overseeing the whole song. Like from start to finish, if you're like, this song needs a guitar, you need to find a guitar. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Or find someone who is going to get the guitar. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, or the, the exact one that you need. Do you know what I'm saying? So yeah, there's beat makers and there's producers. Do you know what I mean? You, like you can make a beat like, and some people, you need beat makers to produce, yeah. for sure as well. Do you know what I'm saying? But yeah, a producer is a different role. They do, do everything from start to finish. Yeah, basically. everything, yeah. like everything, like, like just sourcing the thing. Like, yeah, if like I would say to any artist, like, have a good relationship with your producers, or learn to produ like produce things yourself. Do you know what I'm saying? Have a good relationship with your producer. Like, get that shit sounding how you want it to sound, or around someone's vision that knows what what is do you know what I'm saying yeah, yeah. knows what's up what, what artists do you listen to 
I listen to so much kind of stuff. Like, or what um, genres? Yeah, I can like from the ign- the most ignorant trap music to like, like James Blake's my favorite artist. You know what I'm saying? Like, Serious? Yeah, like how come? Bro, he, his his voice, his voice is like he does his own production as well, and it's like experimental kind of like, like how do I explain it? Like it's like like almost ambient, like melancholy. But his voice is just like, like, do you know what I'm saying? And like it just powerful. seeps through. Like it's not. It's just like it's just earnest. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like proper earnest. Like, uh, like Sampha, um, and then like from the Playboy Carties to like Future, then yeah. like, <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? I like mixing like the, like ignorant shit with like really eclectic stuff. Like yeah, yeah. no, that's good. I think it's good to have a variety. Yeah. Definitely, yeah. Like literally anything, I can listen to any type of, of shit and find what's good about it, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. To, like, in, well, in my scope, do you know what I'm saying? So. And what about when you were younger? Who kind of like made you get into music? What, which artists? Um, the thing, like, I wasn't, like, I grew up in like a proper Christian like, like family in it, so mm. I think <laughs> it's actually jokes, yeah. Basically, we had like the music channel in it, like, because I had like Sky growing up, yeah, yeah. so. Like, I was always watching like MTV Bass, yeah, and I saw the thong song, yeah. <laughs> I saw the thong song on TV, yeah, and I was like, yo, this is a banger. This is a banger. I need to tell my mom about this tune, yeah. <laughs> yeah I need to tell my mom about this tune. Man, I don't know what compelled me to do that. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, yo, mom, I heard this song is called the thong song. It slaps. <laughs> Man, it got banned. The music channel got banned. My mom was like, "Nah, not this." Like, she doesn't want me listening to like secular music. Yeah. So, like, I grew up listening to mostly gospel music. I can't lie. Like, like C. C. Winans, like mm. Fred Hammond, like, um, yeah, Kurt Franklin. You know, Israel Houghton. You know, yeah, Israel. <laughs> I know my there, stuff. There, bro. <laughs> Kurt Clinton, yeah, yeah. Um, all of them, man. Okay, Are you yeah, still listen so, to that now? Or? I don't listen to it now, but I appreciate it a lot. Like, I think, like, faith, faith, like, um, makes, faith makes music that, like, like, faith, the faith creates a vibe that, that no, nothing else can. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't, you can't replicate, like, the way that people, like, l- like long for Jesus or long for that understanding of, of whatever they believe, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's yeah. I appreciate it, but yeah, I'm not I'm not like particularly religious now or anything. Cause, but yeah. No, fair fair but as for music, I, I, like when I first like, cause I never really listened to albums and all that kind of stuff growing up. Cause obviously I'm listening to like more like gospel, but then. When I got my first laptop at like 14, I was like, cool. I clocked out to like get like like LimeWire, all that kind of stuff. <laughs> like, that. bro, the first album I got was Kanye, um, College Dropout. Okay. Yeah, that's the first album I proper listened to from start to finish. Yeah. <laughs> like, like after like, learning how to like like get music illegally and shit. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? And then I went through a mad rabbit hole just like finding albums. And I used to like like sort it out on my like um, like music media. I think it was music. Yeah, I don't uh, use media player. Yeah, Window, media Windows player. Media yeah, player. yeah. I used to find yeah. the art album art like a really high resolution version and like like yeah. put it into the thing because I didn't want like like it looking bare like shady like remove all the website names of things like yeah man like even albums I couldn't find I'd find each individual track and just put it together yeah. like I was like like. I love music in that in that way, but yeah, yeah, man. No, I remember all that, man. I remember all that. Cause you have to actually download the files as well. I had to add, bro, yeah, <laughs> and put them into the program and then yeah, add the man. album art. Bro, Pirate Bay, all of that shit, man. <laughs> like, bro, just just trapping out software, man. But yeah, luckily I'm in a situation where I can buy all these lovely. <laughs> these, these these lovely softwares, but yeah, <laughs> man yeah. used to like trap out the bandwidth, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I used to, yeah, like, yeah. What, what was growing up for you? Like, 
Like, where did you grow up? South London? Yeah, South London. I grew up in like uh, Lewisham Borough. Okay, okay. So, um, yeah, man. Like, luckily, like for me, like, like my mom was hella strict. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like, she just instilled in me, don't like, don't fuck around and find out. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> like, do you know what I'm saying? So I was like. Like, I guess I was rowdy as a kid because I just, I, like, I used to, like, th- like talk a lot on and just, like, yeah. I was just about like that a little bit, but I wasn't, like, malicious or anything. Like, you know what I mean? I didn't really want to, like, beef no one or anything like that. But, yeah. like, growing up in those areas, someone's always going to try you. Someone's always going to hurt your feelings. And then you have to, like, <laughs> like, 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 slap them up or something or, like, have to, like, get into a fight. Do you know yeah, hundred I mean? so, <laughs> percent. What's what's the craziest <laughs> thing you've seen, like Lewisham or just that you can off the top of your head? The craziest thing I've seen, bro. Like, like I don't know, man. There was a time where I thought felt like it was just pandemonium all the time. There was always some sort of some someone's getting punched up. <laughs> like, someone's always getting punched up. Some like like every other week. Do you know what I'm saying? So, you, get, you get a bit numb to it, innit? Yeah, it you get out, like it yeah, was normal. just. It was just normal, do you know what I'm saying? I'll never forget, like, in year seven, like, I don't know, I was playing football, and at some, like, like, this guy's in my own year, do you know what I'm saying? He's in my year, yeah, he kicked the ball away, yeah. I'm just like, why you kick the ball away, bro? I, man just headbutted me straight, bro. And I was like, this was in year seven, so I didn't know, like, like, like primary school was actually calm for me, like, like, I got, like but literally, man just got headbutted. Like, I'm a tall guy. Like, I was a big kid, but this guy was, like, the, probably around the same height as me. But he just had that... Like, I looked into man's eyes and I was like, nah. I did. Like, I, did, I, did, like, I was like, I don't want it with this guy. Do you know what I'm saying? So since then, for, since that moment, I was on guard in school. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, like... like, But there was so... Like, I used to fight a lot. Do you know what I'm saying? I used to fight a lot in school, but... What, what school was this? Uh, Forest Hill. Forest Hill boys okay, school. Okay, okay. Yeah, so it's so all boys school, so <laughs> yeah, you know what it oh, bro. And then I moved in like year ten. Like I moved to I moved, I moved a bit further away and then um I was gonna go to a school out there where I moved. But it was another boys school. Right, so I was like, yeah. let me let me stick with the dickheads I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Instead of meeting a whole batch of new yeah, new yeah. dickheads. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, let me stick to these, man. Do you know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, man, it was still, like, I would still say it's a good experience, isn't it? When that makes you who you are. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, man, but, um, yeah, man. There was a lot, of, yeah, there's a lot of stories, man. There's a lot of, like... Like, my school, like, produced a lot of amazing, like, artists as well. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Um, what's it called? King Cool, Yusuf Days. Yeah, he's a drummer. Um, yeah. Uh, P2J. Mm. Like, do you know what I'm saying? These are, like, people that, are, like, are doing, like, amazing things. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, even Glody. Glody came up the other day. Have you seen it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Glody, yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, man. Um, yeah, man. I hope... I hope everything's well with his case and all of that kind yeah, of stuff, like, man. Because yeah. it, it looks weird, then it? it's a weird case because I think they're, they're yeah, pushing him back to jail because now. Because he, he came out and then they're trying to like, say it's a mistake. Try put, like try and say it was a mistake and stuff, but yeah, yeah, yeah man. He he looks like he's trying to turn his life around and and do what he's like. He's doing the fitness thing. Yeah, do you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, was it Glow Glow Fitness? Yeah, Glow Fitness, yeah. man. Shout out to him, man. Um, but. Yeah, man. There's stories every day, man. There's stories mm. every day. There's um, quite, quite a lot of rappers that went to our yeah, school. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's like bare people, man. There's just a bunch of talented people, man. Bare talented people. So yeah. after, your, after your group, um, the first one, um, have you made another group since then? Um, I was in a group called Last Night in Paris. They're still around today. Um, yeah, man. Did quite... Like, we did some good things, man, like, because... I think at the time there wasn't like people weren't really doing like like proper like video like proper music videos. This is like yeah. before cameras were like accessible, and yeah, man, like, yeah, we got opportunities to shoot with some amazing cameras and make some good art, man. 
Okay. Yeah, at the time, so it was it was it was something, man. Yeah. Where where can we see that? Is that on that like order? I don't know. I think I think they they they've taken it off the, the internet now. They 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 kind of like oh, they, they yeah, went a different yeah. direction in it. Like with like kind of like, but they're still there's they're still about they got new members and stuff, man. They're still making music and doing their thing, but um. And then the yeah. serotonin. Oh, serotonin. Yeah, that was like when I went uni, um, like. There was like a group of us in it, like we just do it like, yeah, we used to make some good music, man. We used to make some good music, but like we had too many members, <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? Too many members, like, like musical differences and stuff. But yeah, we still all make music together. What's the, what's um, the meaning of that name, serotonin? Oh, serotonin, like, like, you know, it's the chemical that gets left, off, like, like, that gets released when you're like, when you feel fulfilled or you've, you've, you've done something, do you know what I mean? Like, so even just like creating, like you're releasing serotonin. Like when people take drugs, like it's like releasing loads of serotonin. That's why you feel so, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's so, like a feel yeah, good. But we, I think, um, I think someone said like, we're literally selling serotonin. <laughs> and then that's how that name came about. Do you know what I'm saying? So it was, it was initially like selling serotonin. But it was just a bit too long, in it? But, yeah. So why, why did that group split up? Well, we didn't really split up. It was just that we, we decided not to like package it like that anymore. Because everyone was doing, everyone's like individual and like, like them man, them man are like, like super detailed and stuff like that. So to like weave everyone together was like quite difficult, but yeah. When, whenever we need each other, they were there, do you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man. Shout out, shout out the man, them. Yeah. Same old, same old. Uh, St. Plates. Um, you go. Yeah, there's, there's Bear Man, there's Bear Man. There's Bear Man making amazing shit, man. What yeah. kind of um, things are you working on at the moment? What kind of projects you got coming up? Um, well, I've got my album coming. Uh, it's called Dreaded Ken. Which is like, yeah, it's a, it's like a heartbreak album. Do you yeah. know what I'm saying? I've always wanted to like like make a heartbreak album. I think I was like inspired by like um, Igor by Tyler the Creator, because that's like a that's complete from stop like start to finish like a breakup album. Yeah. So yeah, I wanted to do something like that. And, um, is that are you going yeah. through a breakup or? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. But I went through like because I was literally in a relationship most of like most of my twenties. Do you know what I'm saying? And then, like, just after COVID, like, like I, had, I had a breakup and I just was, like, feeling bare stuff. So I put it all into this album, do you know what I mean? So, and, um, yeah, it was nice making something that was literally all about one, th like, well, like, like, one situation and one feeling, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And, um... And that's genuine music. Yeah, 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 yeah. for real. But, it's, yeah, it's got some vibey stuff there because it's, like, I would say, like, the start of the album is, like, like, like dealing with the the loss and then being like yo you need to wake up man you're the guy do you know what i mean yeah. and then like like over indulging and then like realizing that you can't just do whatever do you know what i'm saying like you can't just play with thing because you you feel away do you know what i'm saying yeah, yeah. but um yeah man it's a yeah that sounds cool yeah. that sounds cool yeah how would you describe your your style yeah this is it's hard it's hard for me because i don't i don't like to like attach myself to any particular style, but I would say it's like, I would say this album is like more like R&B kind of meets like, like more trappy sounds, but it's all like quite atmospheric at the same time. Like, obviously I came up rapping most of the time, but I'm using my voice in a way that is like more R&B, but still like the flows are still there. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, it's still quite a lot of like, like fast paced melodies and stuff like that, but I'm... Um, and is that yeah. intertwined with how you dress and like your whole... No. Mm, bro, I, like... Cause I, feel, I feel like you got you kind of a couple unique pieces. Uh, that's oh, a neck, yeah, kind of, you yeah. know. Oh, thanks. <laughs> oh, shucks. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, man. Um, yeah, man. Like, I, I, just, I just wear what I, what I think is cool. For some reason, I end up wearing a lot of bright stuff. Cause when I was, cause before I used to wear a lot of black. Do you know what I mean? It was just, it was just black, 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 black. And then I was like, wait a second, I can wear color. And then I've been just loving wearing color. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So 
Yeah, my boys get at me for like just dressing bare colourful. <laughs> what kind of colours though? Anything like bro, bright green, blue, red, then like all of them, all of them, purple, all of them. Yeah, any yeah. colour any colour man. As long as the as long as the piece is, is nice, you know? Yeah, yeah. So what's your kind of like you know how everyone has like vices? Like outlets, like some people drink, some people yeah. smoke. You know, what would what would kind of what would your outlets be or what you know, what what would get you through a breakup as well? Is that music, <laughs> weed, drinking? Bro, yeah man, weed bro, I started smoking when I was like fifteen and never just didn't stop, bro. Is that like part of you? Yeah, man, it's just it's it's bad man. I, f- I definitely think it's like it's definitely nicotine. Mm. But I love I love smoking though. At the same time, but sometimes you think, you know when you think, oh, I should probably stop this, yeah, but at the same time, you're just like, yeah, it's, but it's, you, just what, it's just what I do. I don't really drink like that. Yeah. I don't really drink like that. I do, like, I'll have a, like, I'll have to have someone to, like, challenge me to drink. Like, I'll never drink out of my own free will. If, if, if that's what we're doing, I'm like, I'll participate for sure. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? But out of my own free will, I'd rather smoke, man, just, just bull off, like... Does that think, help the music? Yeah, man. Just be thinking. Just be mm. thinking about their stuff, man. And it just, like, comes out. Like, when I smoke, whatever is, um, like, the most pressing thing at the time is what I'm focusing on. It's tunnel vision. Just oh, so it helps? Thing. Yeah, for me. Okay, yeah. yeah, with creative stuff. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah, it was, it was bad at a point. Like, like smoking in between that mad into... Like, just... Man went to the toilet, so I might as well build up. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, what, what, like, what's that about? Like, <laughs> yeah, man, but yeah. yeah so what? In in South London, it's quite it's quite easy to get weed, isn't it? You say it's everywhere. <laughs> it's quite easy to get weed. In South <laughs> like, it's, it's a yeah, thing that everyone does. Yeah, man. Well, yeah. they do it all over London, man. Fam, the other like, like just like a couple days ago. I'm on, I'm on, like, the coach because I went to buck my friend in Wales. So, yeah, I got the, I got the coach to Wales because, like, I didn't want get, to get on the train. How long does that take? It's, like, seven hours. But I don't mind, I don't mind that, though. Mm-hmm. I, like, I kind of like, kind of like going on them type of trips. But, um, yeah, that's some annoying lady, bro. Some annoying lady, yeah, she's like, oh, listen, I, I, I smell the weed. I'm, like, like, it smells like that, like, like really good. Like, like, can I, can, can, I, can, I, buy, can I buy, like, ten, ten years worth? Like, I'm like, like, allow it, man. <laughs> like, like, allow it, do you know what I'm saying? Like, you need muscle shot. Like, how is it not? No, no, man. Like, move, man. <laughs> like, move, like, some any white lady, like. <laughs> like, I'm just like, yeah, she was jarring, man. Oh, but yeah, but everyone everyone loves loves some weed, man. So well, grabbing like, grabbing weed in in South London is easy, isn't it? It's, yeah, it's everywhere, yeah. isn't it? Everyone kind yeah, of yeah, does yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's a vibe. Yeah, Have you got any easy. bad stories, like, or anything that happened, like picking up weed one time or anything like that? Bro, I stay out of the way, you know. Like, like I don't <laughs> like. Do you know what? Like, like I think I think maybe because I'm quite tall. Yeah. Like I've just avoided issues, you know. Like, like ever since I left just school. Chilled. Yeah. yeah, ever since I left school. Like, 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 I just, like, no one's really tried me, which I'm, like, I thank the Lord for every day, you know what I'm saying, like, obviously, if shit happens, you have to get busy, but luckily, I just never had to, to deal with any of that kind of stuff. Yeah, it's been quite chilled. You, who are you talking about before? Is that your cousin? MDK? Yeah, yeah. Okay, right. What's, what's he doing right now? Is he, he's a singer, songwriter? Yeah, man, he's, 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 um... He's produced, like, like, well, and written for, like, amazing artists like Beyonce, um, <laughs> like, like, Craig David, like, you know, you hear him on the charts, you know, ready for your love. Ready oh, he wrote for, that? Yeah, he, like, he's singing that song, like, he's, oh, like, wow. bro, he's, like, he's, a, he's, a, he's a big deal, he's a big deal, you've got to yeah. put some respect on my man's name. <laughs> like, 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 he's a, he's a big boy producer, like, yeah, man, always got, got love for him, man. Because I think he was nominated for um, a Grammy and a Brit Award, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. But, it's got man, accolades. 
Like, yeah. And then he won his, another he's award. He's got his own album as well. His, his own album, like studio album. Like, yeah, man, he's 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 always working. He, like, Flo, you know Flo, he, he wrote all their, he wrote a lot of their stuff. All oh, right. Like, he executive producers. Is that a girl group, isn't it? Yeah, Flo, yeah. like the cardboard box. Or yeah. I'm going to put your shit in the car. Like, all the TikTok dances. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. No, that's good, man. Do you say music has changed over like the years? You, would you say? Yeah, man. Like, I would say like before, it was literally just about like you didn't even have to see what the person looked like, mm. like in order for you to like, 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 like feel the music. Do you know what I'm saying? It was more about the song. Yeah, it was more yeah. about the song. Now it's about everything around the song. Do you know what Such I'm saying? Such as what? Like, like, like if someone's like dissing someone or like like this song was about this specific relationship that was public or like do you know what I mean or like I don't know like something viral next to something do you know what do you know what I'm saying yeah. like it's just it's all about like the content around the, the like the music rather than the music itself would you say it's quite hard to to be a successful artist now because of it like it's yeah, much harder um, I would say there's a lot more opportunity in terms of like if you really can like put your shit together well in a way that people can understand anything's possible do you know what i'm saying but um yeah it takes a lot of hard work i'm I'm, yeah, I'm telling you it takes a lot of hard work um some people luckily just have like like people people gravitate towards them for like stuff they do outside of music or things like that and it's more easy for them to like like get recognition, but yeah. Um, yeah, man, that stuff makes for good music. Cause music is just stories, and now I feel like with like the information that we all get nowadays, like that coincides with the music too. Do you know what I'm saying? So yeah, some people still don't care about all the the outside shit when it comes to music. They just want to hear good like some good stuff. But there's so much stuff. <laughs> that how are they going to find your stuff? Yeah. So at the same time, you do need to market your stuff in a certain way so the right people can hear it. Do you know that's, what I'm saying? That's what I mean. You feel like that's yeah. changed now. Like you have to push yourself harder. You have to put yourself out there more. Yeah, because before it was just like labels who decide or yeah. like, like if you get a good opportunity, like it will probably bang for you because there's not many people who get the platforms. But people are making their own platforms now. Do you know what I'm saying? So you need to make either make your own platform, get your stuff to pop, pop, pop off on another person's platform, or yeah. But I prefer to just like like home grow my stuff and just like just like <laughs> just get it. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. And what what would you say to like a up and coming artist? What kind of advice would you give someone? I would say... Like, like, like a little cousin came to you and said, look, I love, I love what you do, I want, to make, I want to make music. I would say create, create, create a world. Create a world of your music. Do you know what I'm saying? Because people... Like a song's a song, do you know what I mean? Like a song's a song, that, that's one thing. But when you create a world around your music, like that's something that's they just keep going back to, do you know what I'm saying? Whether it be like, like merch, whether it be like, like a music video, whether it be like even just like some tweets that you did because it's all coinciding with the, 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 the music and all that kind of stuff. Like they're immersed in that world. Yeah. So the songs mean more than just the song because it's a part of that world, do you know what I mean? I don't know if that makes sense. But yeah, like, like yeah. branding. What? Kind of like branding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of like brand, like branding, but it's just like I can't, I can't explain what I mean. But yeah, just creating worlds that just how do I say? Like with Igor, Igor's the best way I could explain. Like he's he's called himself that character Igor rather than it be like, oh, this is about Tyler, the creator. This is about this character, Igor. So that person's a character. Mm. So you can make your own like rules for this world. Like what's happening in this world? What's the most pressing issue in this world? Do you know what I mean? 
and just like, like make all the music align with that. And then people will, will notice, oh, he said that thing in that song. He said that thing there, like he always does this. He always, do you know what I'm saying? Like, like there's a theme, he's always, do you know what I'm saying? So yeah, things like that. You know I mean? no, that's good, man. I think a lot of people don't know to look out for that. They don't know to do those things. Yeah, but people listen to music in different ways, isn't it? I guess I'm just talking for myself. Like some people just want to hear like bangers. Some people just want to hear bangers. So, like, yeah, like, like I'm sure like a lot of albums do have bangers, but like to tell a story for me. Like it needs to, there needs to be like, like different stuff, different emotions, different. That's the stuff that I enjoy. But yeah. definitely, if I'm if I'm going gym or if I'm, like, like just just like vibing with the man them or all that kind of stuff, you're, you're, you're putting on straight bangers. But some people are just always in that mode. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I don't feel that people actually. Well, they do, but I'm saying like, like it's not. It's not like bare popular for people just banging album cuts on a regular basis. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Or with, with your friends. Do you know what I'm saying? Not as much as before. Yeah, before we were banging all of the like man would listen to a whole Wiz Khalifa mixtape. <laughs> like, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? And just <laughs> body zoots for yeah. do, you, do you feel like it's changes in like because my, my my opinion of the music industry now is that like some of it's a bit like saturated. Because yeah. it's like an artist can just, you know, go on Instagram, make, make a little freestyle or something. Or I'll say an artist, like before they're even an artist, and yeah. they just go viral. Yeah. And, then, and then now they're like a big artist. Do you feel it's like that? Or? No, man, I think, bro, any pop, like, any, like, recognition you can get for anything is, is value, is valuable. Do you know what I'm saying? It's just about what you do with it afterwards. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, um... Yeah, more power to anyone who's like, like got their break from like a freestyle or anything. Like, do you know what I'm saying? They told a story, people messed with it. You have more chances to show them until they don't care anymore. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, that, that's like, no one owes you their attention. <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? No one owes you their attention. You just got to be exceptional. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or sometimes not. Sometimes it's like, you just represent something that's funny to people or like, makes people happy and you execute it well, even though maybe people might think it's trash, but nah, it resonates with people, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like there's bare stuff that I don't like, that I can, like music I don't like, that I'm just like, I see what you did there though. Do you know what I'm saying? I see what you did, that, like it's not for me, it's not what I'm gonna listen, like I'm not gonna be bumping that, but I can, I can, I can tell when something's been well crafted and like it's purposeful, do you know what I'm saying? So whether I like it or not, like, like things are purposeful, man. Yeah. So you just dropped uh, George. Gorge. Oh, is it Gorge? Yeah. Okay. Gorge, okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's a good song. I liked it. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. Thank oh, you, man. Yeah, Thank you. Yeah. Man. It's a little little vibe, like for you know when you're just like you got that friendship vibe of a thing, but obviously you're still. <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what I was gonna ask you. Like, what yeah. what are you rapping about in the song? So it's about yeah, yeah. man. Like, do you know that just like like a carefree type relationship vibe because like for me like after like being in a relationship for a long time like like I didn't I like I didn't really know how to like have like like a casual relationship with some girls do you know what I'm saying it was kind of like I had to like learn that okay, yeah. do you know what I'm saying I had to like because I was literally just like calm with my like just calm do you know what I'm saying I wasn't like out here trying to like, but when I was single, I was like, rah, okay, cool. I'm out here now. And I was just like, I was probably just doing too much a lot of the time, bro. So yeah, man, but just learning, nice. just learning that like, 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 like calm vibe. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so that's the inspiration yeah. behind the song. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah, man. And where did the, the artwork inspiration come from? Or where, where did the artwork come from? Oh yeah, the like al a... the album's called Dreaded Ken, okay. which is funny because the Barbie movie's coming out. I didn't even plan that, bro. I've been working on this album. I've been working, <laughs> bro. I've been working on this album for like two two years, bro. Serious? Yeah, I've been working like yeah two years. I've been working on this album, yeah. And round about the time I'm trying to release it, this Barbie movie's coming out, yeah. So I guess it's good timing. Yeah, definitely. 
But it's only good timing if I can find a way to, to, to market through that thing. But yeah. Um, yeah, I've already got my plans and stuff. But yeah, man, it's, it's, it's cool. But yeah, because um, yeah, I called it Dreaded Ken because, um, do you know what I mean? Like, like Ken is like, I don't know what they're going to do with the movie, but to me, Ken was just like the idealistic person in it. Like, like the idealistic man kind of thing. Like, like almost like, it's like her toy. <laughs> do you know oh, what I'm saying? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So I guess like a, a lot of the time, sometimes when you, like as a guy, when you give yourself to a girl, like you're just like, you just want to, you want to like be the guy. Do you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, so you like almost a, like her toy. Yeah, I know, yeah. but it's like, yeah. I, I the vibe of the thing, yeah. But yeah, that was the vibe from it. But it's kind of like ironic. Do you know what I mean? Like, because yeah. there's part that like, there's a tag in the so, in all of the songs. Yeah, it's like you're my dreaded Ken. I'm like, no, I'm not. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's just like, yeah, man. That's the vibe. But yeah. All right, so Gorge is out now. Um, that's dropped under the name Flowey. Yeah, Flowey. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah, man. Is it is it hard to kind of have two personas on um, Spotify? It's not really two personas. Or it's two just, names, yeah. Um, not really. I'm just trying to build up flow, the flowy stuff because obviously that's my like my music. Yeah. I'm trying to like get my music more out there because I've had like do you know what I mean, like Flo's yeah, with flows like that like the like that project did pretty well. I'm yeah. gonna drop more stuff with the pro, the like more production stuff. Because I work on a lot of other artists' music. Do you know what I mean? I, I've been working with a lot of amazing artists. So, like, yeah. Like, I've got so much music. Like, like <laughs> I've got so much music. Bro, I'm not going to lie. I feel like I could, like, stop making music for, like, a year and, like, release bare music. Okay, you got that much saved Yeah, up. I've got that, bro. I've got that much. <laughs> like, bare stuff I could just repurpose as well. Like... Yeah, man. Always creating. Always creating. Even when I feel like I'm not creating, I'm creating. Do you know what, what, what would be your dream collab? Like, with, with which artist? Producer or, like, like, vocalist? Let's say both. One of each. Oh. Producer. Oh, producer Kanye. Kanye? Kanye, for sure. Kanye, for sure. Yeah, man. That's still my. That's still. That's still like one of my biggest inspirations. Man. Can't that like, can't you? Man. You, don't, you don't think he's gone a bit crazy, bro? Bro, I can't. I can't say anything bad about Kanye. But what's what's your opinion on Kanye? Like now, huh? what's your opinion on Kanye now? Because I know he's changed. He's changed over the years, bro. Like people go through shit, bro. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? But he's just living his life out in public. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like fam. Everyone, everyone's been there when their uncle's wiling out at the family barbecue, bro. <laughs> like, 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 but that's your uncle, bro. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, you're not gonna, like, you're not. You can't say that. Like, yeah, do you know what I mean? Like, but he's just, he's just a public figure, so he, like, there's more consequences, consequences for his actions. Yeah. But, yeah, yeah man, he's st he's still a legend, still a legend yeah, for the music. Yeah. All the other stuff I can't say, like, uh, <laughs> can't speak on, bro. <laughs> and what, what artist is your dream, like, dream collab? Dream collab. Or rapper or singer? Rapper, can I choose one rapper or one singer? Yeah, that's even better. <laughs> um, rapper, oh, man. Singer. Not James Blake? I'm, it's, I'm, it, would probably, I, it would probably be James Blake, you know. I have a James Blake or Sam for. Okay. I have a James Blake or Sam for singer, and then um, for rapper. It might be Kanye as well, you know. Okay, so you're having producer. You're having producing and, and yeah, then because. Booth. I'm not gonna lie, that was my main, like, I wanted to basically be like Kanye, produce everyone's music and make my own music. That's my, that's, that's, that's my dream. That's where I'm trying to get to. 
Okay, right. That's right. what I Yeah. So he's yeah. kind of most inspiring artist for you. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, but I, trust me, he was the first artist I listened to when I could download the whole album, Kanye. Yeah, man. The way that guy makes beats, the way that guy like produces, like sources people to do all that sort of stuff. Yeah, man. I studied that nigga, man. Like, I literally studied that nigga. Yeah, no, he's good. You do a bit of filming. Yeah, well, yeah, for my own, for my, for my videos, I like, um, yeah, I have a like, well, I started a production company with my, with my boys called Our Colour. No, yeah, I'm not really like one of the mate, like them man do most of the stuff in it. Like I was just like, I just help where I can, but them man, them man be chefing up videos. Yeah, they're, they're doing a lot of my videos, so you'll see a lot of them. That's good, man. Where can um, you see that on YouTube? Yeah, yeah, you'll mm. see it on YouTube, you see it on Instagram, it's going to be everywhere. I'm trying to make it go everywhere, but yeah. And, and what do you like to do in your spare time? I think you travel quite a lot, or? Yeah, bro, I travel when I can, I travel when I can. Went to Nigeria, like, um, a couple of years ago, well, like a year ago, like last year, February. Mm. Went a crazy experience, man. <laughs> Crazy experience, like going as like a like a proper adult. Yeah. Yeah, bro. There was like they were telling me stuff about my like my village and like the traditions and stuff. That I was just like, raw. This is like <laughs> this is like some intense stuff, and yeah. no one writes nothing down, bro. Yeah. And, every, and then everyone in the village is arguing and shit. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Like it's it's actually crazy. It's like well, how like, there's a hella like around the corner. Where, did, where in Nigeria did you go? Um, I'm from um, Anambra State. Well, my family's from Anambra State. Um, yeah, man. Um, so you seen anything it, crazy out there? Growing like, bro, did you go as a child? Saw, or? Bro, we saw like a tank, a tank of that petrol just on fire, bro. That like, got like on the road, bro. How does that work? What, what Do you know like when you got the tankers? Oh, for the, the, for, for, for the fuel, yeah. for the fuel. Bro, one of them just exploded on the road, bro. How did you catch fire? Bro, I, th I think they crashed. They crashed and oh. then the thing just exploded, bro. Damn. It's actually mad. Everyone was a wreck. Bro, I don't know. Bro, I can't lie. When we drove past it, yeah. I could see the per like, you could see the person in there, but it was like, it was like crisp in it. Like, oh, it was like, all on fire while you were in there. Bro, it was on well. fire, bro. Damn. It's crazy. Like, getting stopped by feds. <laughs> like, you get to stop it, bro. All the time, bro. Like as soon as they see this hair, <laughs> as soon as they see your hair, they're just like, nah, this guy's, this guy's. Yeah, they think you're. I don't know what it is. Is but it they think you're someone famous, or they know you're from like not from Nigeria? Or I don't know. Like, they think London? you might be a drug dealer or something. Okay, right, right. You know what I mean? They think you might be a drug dealer, but then once they hear the accent, they're kind of like, oh, okay. <laughs> Is it, is it no. like Jamaica where they'll pull you over and, and you have to pay? Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, of course. So, how much would you have That's to pay? Good. It depends. It depends. Like, you can finesse it and not pay, but yeah, they're going to waste your time, bro. Yeah. If, you just, if, you, if you don't want any problems, just, <laughs> just slap them a little something, you know what I mean? And they let you go. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, I think a lot of people that, like, like my uncle, when he drives, he knows, he, he literally knows all of them. So he'll be like, he'll, he'll go past one checkpoint, yeah, and he'll be like, nah, next time, next time. Nah, I gave you last time, remember? Next, <laughs> so next time. Yeah, yeah, do you know what I mean? And they're just like, yeah, do you know what I mean? Like, he, do, like, he does always give me BP, do you know what I mean? So he just let you through sometimes, do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> what, what about America? Yeah. You been in America recently or like in the last couple yeah, of years? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I went to LA for a month. LA for a month? Yeah. What was yeah. the reason behind that? Um, just, just to experience. I like to just go places and just, like, like blend in. Because LA blend is quite music orientated as well. Yeah, yeah, I did a lot of, like yeah, did a lot of like music stuff down there. Like yeah. met like like met some producers. I went to a couple of studios, made tunes. Yeah, it was a great experience, man. So where do you, where do you stay when you got? Because that's a month's a long time. Bro, I stayed in like that's four different Airbnbs because I wanted like, I wanted to stay in different parts, yeah. like different parts. So like every week I just moved. Moved around. It was jokes. The last Airbnb, like the, um, the Airbnb host, was cool as fuck, man. <laughs> yeah, like, he was so cool. Like, he used to drive us to Spencery. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he literally used like, to just try, used to, Yeah, like, yeah. It, it was literally just like, like, yeah, you make it, like, yeah, just staying in the yard, like, just... They're quite like, friendly. Yeah, or? just bare friendly, like, like, cooking me meatloaf and that, bro. Damn. <laughs> 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 nah, I can't, like, nah. I think there was one night, though, they, they, they fucked up my belly, though. Oh, and I made, I had one, like, they had, like, some pancake thing with, like, berries and shit and syrup. <laughs> I ate that shit, yeah. I was throwing up for time, bro. Oh, man. I was throwing up for time. You know them ones where you can throw up, yeah, and then, and then you had to go to bed? Because <laughs> you're mad, Because <laughs> it takes so much energy to throw. <laughs> and they were like, nah, we need to redeem ourselves. We're going to make you a meatloaf. We're going to make you a meatloaf. <laughs> and I was like, man, shook to eat again, yeah. But I can't lie, the meatloaf slapped. That was my first time having meatloaf, bro. Yeah. It's not a myth, it's real. They do, they do eat. Loaves of meat <laughs> in America. <laughs> it's true. Because <laughs> we don't see it over here. We see yeah, it in the movies. Bro, the movies they literally up, get bro, they just slap they, on the plate. Bro, they literally get mints, bro. <laughs> then they put little breadcrumbs in it and they season that shit <laughs> and they just put like, bro, they just slice it, bro. <laughs> I, was, I was like, wow. But it's nice. Yeah, it was good. No, it was seasoned well, you know. <laughs> yeah. That's good. So I've a month away. That's a long time. Yeah, do you have, do you have any plans to travel anytime soon? Bro, I want to go to Japan. Always wanted to go to Japan. That's like, yeah, man. Well, just to it. just to see everything, or just to see everything. I just want to. I just want to like see all the neon lights and stuff, and just have an overload. Do karaoke, <laughs> like I know. Look at all the weird shit they do, man. <laughs> they do hella weird shit, bro. Yeah, different culture. Yeah, man, it's, 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 it's wild. Um, yeah, man, I, and I want to go on like some like proper food holidays. You, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know when like the food, like go somewhere where the food is mad cheap. Because you can go to street food. And yeah, the mad well. street food, like mm. yeah, Mexico, mm. Mexico for the street food for sure. Yeah, man. Yeah, that's next on the agenda. Also, I want to live in Nigeria for like a year. You want to go there for a year? Yeah, I want to live in Nigeria for a year. All oh, right. Why? Yeah. Just like, like I'm Ibo. I don't know how to speak the language. And yeah, man, I just want to like be a bit more connected to to Nigeria. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And just like, yeah, I like I don't want to like go back there and not like know Wagwan. Do you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I want to live there for a year. Oh, that's good. That's good. Yeah. Is it something you want to you teach your children as well in the future? Um, like what? Just like stuff about like the, yeah, like the culture, yeah, the course, language. Yeah, of course. But it's mad, yeah, because it's. Like, I feel like it gets more diluted. It's getting more diluted and more what, diluted. Through each generation. Yeah, because yeah. like the fact that I don't know how to speak Igbo yeah. is like mad. Like what? Like like when my parents aren't there. Like, like, how am I go, even gonna like, like, consolidate what they have if I can't speak? Like, fam, like, I'm gonna get finesse, bro. Yeah. I'm gonna get finesse. So I would say like, any any person who's like doesn't know how to speak their native language, like, you gotta learn, bro. You gotta learn. Like, obviously, I'm being a hypocrite because I don't, I don't know. To, but I'm trying, man. I'm trying. It's, like, it was a difficult language as well. There's bare words that just there's no there's no words for it. You have to like kind of like either use a little bit of English or like. Can you say any words now? Do you, do you know a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> well, I only know the ones the ones that were cussing me. Because my mom used to cuss me in Ibo sometimes. <laughs> like what? Uh, ne What does that mean? Ne I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's something like foolish child or something or. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Or something like, yeah, do you know what I mean? Or, like, I know like little words here and there, but yeah. not, like not like full sentences, just just words. Like, like Bia has come. Um, obviously, Kedu, Odinma. Like, Kedu is like, 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 how are you? Or like, like, greeting. Yeah. And then, like, Odinma is, I'm fine. And that's like a thing that people say. say. It's just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. the thing, yeah. <laughs> like the bait one, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Africa. <laughs> that fucking Nas in belly. <laughs> it's a weird. Yeah, man, we need to go to Africa. <laughs> yeah, man. 
What's your inspiration? What, what inspires you to make new music and, and be creative like day to day to keep going? Just, just having something to say, really. Just, just, just having experience and just expression, isn't it? Because, bro, like, there's bare stuff that I don't feel that words can even articulate. Like, word, there's certain things words can't even articulate properly. Do you know what I mean? Like, there's bare stuff that I might, thi might think, but I'm just like, words are kind of like restricting the expression. But with music, you can like, like, there's the inflection of how someone said it, there's the music around it yeah. also. Like, I would say like, um, like the words of the script and then the, like, the beat is like the, the like, the picture of what you're seeing. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah, man. Because I know, I know your cousin, M. Nike, I was going to ask, um, because I think he does, he, he came out as gay at 19, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and he does a lot of work with like LGBTQ+. And yeah. um, I think he had a songwriter's um, camp as well. Yeah. Do you think it's quite hard for him to, to, I mean, is it quite hard coming out as gay and kind of making music and helping people in that community, you reckon? Or do you reckon it's a bit better now? Um, I think things are improving, but obviously I can't speak for that community yeah no of course yeah, because yeah. but like obviously they go through stuff that i might not go through but um i can say it was probably very difficult for him it was probably very like like very traditional african family yeah, right, yeah. like um yeah it, might, it couldn't have been easy for sure because i even remember a time i was pro probably very ignorant to that kind of stuff yeah, of course, yeah. but funny or not that like, yeah it's the culture, cause we, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, because yeah, because we always we, we probably always thought like we always like knew, mm. we always knew because it was like it was, it was like I don't know, like we I, we felt it, but like yeah. at the same time, if anyone would ask him, we'd be like, no, like do you know what I'm saying? Because, yeah, so you do mean, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So yeah. I was just like, yeah, like like he said he's not, so you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, like, just, like, just you know what I mean? Be, but yeah. but um, yeah, man, it must have been super difficult because. Because I remember how ignorant I was. Yeah, yeah. I don't think I was ever ignorant to the point that I would like treat anyone any differently. But yeah. I definitely thought a, hard, a whole bunch of like, like, <laughs> like stuff. <laughs> do you know what I mean? It's just like, yeah. Do you know what I mean? I think it, I so, think it's the culture as well. Like African Caribbean cultures, they, you know, it's not it's not it's looked down upon as well. Yeah, and then and then obviously we went to all boys school as well. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. You know, you know what it's like as well. It's, it, it was hard them times that for for people. Yeah, man. To come out or bro, it was probably that best just to keep on <laughs> like that in school. Just just just, just hold it down. No, no, yeah. No, no. Oh yeah, I, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah just like yeah, just, wait just, wait a couple of years. Yeah, yeah, just like, like wait in it, man. Like not because like we don't want you to like express yourself, but because like it's gonna be hard. <laughs> it's gonna be hard. Like like like. Like, oh, I don't know what to tell you. Like, it's, yeah, it's yeah, going to be difficult. You. But, um, <laughs> yeah, man, he, he, like, it was probably a hard, like, time in his life. And, mm. like, and, yeah, he, he got through it, man. He's, like, his parents fully support him in, in what he oh, does. Right. Like, do you know what I'm saying? And, like, yeah, man, he seems, he seems happy, man. Like, like, I think he's happy. Yeah, he's successful. Yeah, man. Well, the success, success doesn't always bring, like doesn't always bring happiness. Like you reckon? Nah, bro. Like as human beings, you're always looking for the next thing. So about people that say, you know, I'd rather be crying in the in the, in the like Lamborghini or. Well, you're still gonna like you're still gonna be crying, but like, <laughs> it's preferable. Yes. Yeah. For sure, it's preferable to be crying in a Lamborghini, <laughs> but it doesn't take away the pain that you're gonna feel. Yeah. It doesn't yeah. take, like, like, bro, like, once, once you acquire all the things that you thought that you wanted, like, they become the norm to you. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? And your brain's going to create new problems. Like, have you ever, do you feel like you've ever had a point in your life where you've had nothing to worry about completely or you, like, you didn't have a pressing issue in your mind? No. No. There's always, one, yeah. there's always something. There's always something, like, ah, oh, the next level. There's all like... And that's just us as humans, like we're always gonna do that. And I think one of the biggest mistakes that people make 
and what's helped me in life a lot is just knowing that like it's always going to be the next thing so instead of like like fretting about getting all the shit I need to do done mm. like I need to at least be living and enjoying the 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 process yeah do you know what I'm saying like literally about enjoy, like being present in the moment and like like in, enjoying the come up and enjoying like getting there because there's going to be times that like things are fucked mm. most of the time like like in the realm of what's happening to you do you know what I mean like like maybe you're like a CEO or blah 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 and you've got bare P but there's something in your job and you're under mad pressure and you fucked it up <laughs> or like you're like do you know what I'm saying yeah, yeah. like and that's stuff, something like people commit suicide bro like mm. like in mad position like you're like you're you're rich as hell bro <laughs> Like, some people have amazing jobs and kill themselves, bro. Like, like that shit don't, like, like, bring anything. It, like, I think, like, there was a study. I can't, I, I don't, like, like, I can't really, like, I don't know the exact, but I think they said, like, after, like, 50 grand or 40 grand, like, you don't get any happier. After, after like, 50, 50 grand? Yeah, like, That's because crazy. if you have 50 grand, yeah. for most, if you needed a place to live and to eat, you could have the basic. You could have basic needs. Do you know what I'm saying? You know okay, your you basic needs. Yeah. yeah, your basic needs are sorted out. So there's nothing really, like you can have a car. Like your basic needs are sorted. Mm, I get what like you it mean. doesn't bring you. Like money won't bring you that much more happiness than than that. It was probably minuscule amounts, but yeah. Mm. Do you believe in any conspiracies? <laughs> bro, you gotta believe in some conspiracies. What's, what's your? What do you believe in? Do you know what? I'm oh. not really a one that fo- person that follows too many like conspiracies. But if someone tells me something, I'm just like, probably true. <laughs> Fam, they're doing fuckery, bro. There's so much fuckery going on, bro. Because there's even conspiracies no. like people think the Earth is flat. Oh no, no, no! I don't believe that, <laughs> bro. How come? Like, like I believe that we landed on the moon. Mm. I believe. Wait, what? Oh, right. Like I believe that what scientists have said. Yeah. Like so I you believe, believe that there's no there's no reason to lie about some of the stuff there, and there's unequivocal. There's loads of evidence that a lot of this shit's happened. So do you believe but, in the moon landing? You think that was all real? The actual video. Yeah. I don't know if it's real, but I know that people have been on the moon for sure. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah, I know. I don't know if that's the actual video of it happening. <laughs> yeah. But I know for sure that people have been on the on, on the moon. What they, about they've, they've they've even collected like rocks and shit from it, bro. Like, <laughs> like, 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 bro, like they've definitely been to the moon, but who knows? What, what about COVID? Do you, think COVID uh, do you think COVID was real or man-made or? No. Nah, do you know what it is? Yeah, with that stuff. Five G. Yeah, mm. they're trying to electrify the earth, yeah. Is that your, okay. Yeah. yeah, they're trying to electrify the earth, yeah, so that we all become robots. <laughs> Sorry, I need it a second. Yeah, do you know what I'm saying? That's what the 5G is. So that's your for, conspiracy, bro. let me hear it Man, again. Why do, you think, why do you think everyone's moving mad? You think it's all because of 5G? It's because of 5G, bro. They're actually controlling our brains what, the through new, our the, phones. All the new through, towers? Yeah, man. Oh, or just the whole network in general? Yeah, the whole network's getting... So go on, go on, continue. They're, con- they're controlling us through. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, <laughs> <laughs> no. Nah, nah, I don't I'm, I'm, not, I'm not taking a piss. I actually want to hear this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nah, because people, people have conspiracies. Everyone's got their own. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't really believe in many, but I hear wild shit. I, I like listening to people's shit. I like listening. Oh. One thing, I hate furries. What? You know them people that dress up as... That as as furry animals. Oh right, is that I hate thing? them, man. Where did he do? I don't really hate anyone. Yeah, but I don't like them. They're the, they're <laughs> like, have you ever seen them before? No, is this is this like a thing that people? It's an do? American thing, I think. Oh right, but they'd like dress up as like, 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 like furry animals. What head to toe? Yeah, like like in a suit, like a whole a full suit, <laughs> and then like I think it's like a. Like, like a weird sex thing they do and shit. Oh, right. Like, I used to watch, um, what's that guy? All Gas, No Breaks. Have oh, you watched okay. that show? No, no. Yeah, but they, he goes to, like, mad, like, mad wild conventions. Like, like 
I think one time he was at he was at a flat earthers um convention. <laughs> um <laughs> Funny enough, all the flat earthers are mad racist. You know? <laughs> so yeah, they're mad racist. They bear love Hitler and shit. Yeah. <laughs> no, but they're, they're, they're from the um, convention, isn't it? Like, yeah. Like, yeah, that, that, that crazy. was a good era of YouTube, you know. <laughs> that was a good, like, that was when I was like proper, like, into like, like, yeah. <laughs> I think one time they went to like the AVN Awards, which was like a porn. Oh, awards. well, you went to that? No, no. The, oh, the, oh, the, the flat earthers. talking about the show. Oh, the, like, right, that right, show, right, you right. go to like mad conventions. Okay, so what, what did they see there? That, that one time we went to a porn awards yeah. and they were just like mad weird like, like people there and like, like they were just fucked. <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm, I'm going to try and watch it. There was, yeah. there, was one, there, was one, there was one woman, yeah? She was like, she had like a man on a leash, yeah? And he was like, she was like, oh, do you believe you're a black king to some next black guy? <laughs> and he was like, if you, oh, yeah, um, I, want my, I want my beta cut man to cover his, like, Kiss your feet, <laughs> and he was like, "All right, then." <laughs> and then like, she made my kiss his feet. Yeah. No, and she's like, "Do you do you feel like a black king now?" And he was like, "I guess." <laughs> <laughs> and like, I'm, t- I'm telling you, yeah, you can find it on YouTube. Yeah. It's so funny. All gas, no brakes. Yeah, I used to watch that all the time, man. Well, I'll go check that out. Yeah, that sounds funny. Good. What's what's your socials? Where can we find you? Um, so at Flozart, F L O W Z A R T. On Instagram, um, Twitter, it's the same. Um, SoundCloud, it's the same. Um, also, the music on Spotify and um, iTunes and all that is flowy for the music, like my music, and then flows up for all the production music. So, yeah. And then TikTok. I'm trying to do TikTok. Obviously, I'm an old ass nigga. But, uh, <laughs> trying to get onto TikTok. Um, Flowy flows art, so okay. that's flowy and flows art. Okay, okay. So flowy flows art on TikTok, yeah. Cool.